welcome back to Cold Waters. So we just finished an encounter with um, an enemy surface fleet, which we hoped was the ones that we were chasing because it was due to be going into the North, no, the, the Norwegian Sea sometime soon, but unfortunately it actually wasn't. Um, so we then got intercepted by a submarine fleet, uh, which we promptly dispatched all of. And we still haven't found who we're looking for. I'm not sure if this is it over here. Um, we did get we did get awarded the Bronze Star for our work before, but we don't actually know where. Mm, this might be. Do, 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 do. Okay, so West Germany has been conquered. So this is before the Berlin Wall, um, before the fall of the Berlin Wall. So there's still East Germany and West Germany, and now there's just one unified Germany, unified under the Soviet banner, which is problematic so we're still hovering around the SOSAS network in the Norwegian Sea this could be our tender fleet that we're looking for okay I wanted to see if it would come into deep waters it hasn't ah oh, we should have slowed down actually okay so we've got so we've we, we're expecting surface contacts here so we're going to reload our missiles we've only got two left so we can afford to take out one on two unarmed ships or one unarmed ships if we're careful um we've still got all of our mosses or did we use one i can't remember we've still got 17 spearfish 15 in the reserve and two in the tubes so let's go action stations action stations and on sonar, new contact bearing. Okay, head one. slow. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Okay, one nine three is Sierra one. Let's use our excess speed. Four, five, We're familiar eight, nine, with this at this point. Um, to go ahead and to get up here. Let's just get ourselves on this Come bearing. Left two, zero nine six. Okay, Hell so nine. we're using our excess speed to climb. Con sonar, new contact bearing one zero one designated okay. Sierra two. So while we're waiting, let's see if we can identify Con, these. Contact bearing one zero eight designated Sierra three. This may be a merchant. Oh no! What was that? Uh, it's not a trawler, but it's very close to a trawler. Could be a stern trawler. So I'll leave Con, it as trawler. Sierra one is classified as merchant. Okay. So at least we're not. We weren't too eager on the. So this is Sierra 2, it's very quiet, um, let's go ahead, what what ship is this? Is that, mm, I think that's what it is. Con sonar, Sierra 2 is classic. Con, helm, steady okay. course. Sierra 3 is, um, okay let's have a look. No, that doesn't quite fit. It's almost a cargo ship. Almost, but not quite right. Something's not... It's not... No, it's not that. Is it a Krivak? It's a Krivak! Cool. Con sonar, Sierra 3 is classified as escort. Okay. Oh, somebody's messaging me. Apparently the recurring theme of this, this series is whenever I start actually recording, somebody decides to message me. Terrific, cool. Okay, so this would be great if this was accurate because it would mean the Dubna is in front of the Krivak and I'm not sure if the Dubna has point defense. The Krivak definitely does. It's an angry ship, but the Dubna has nothing. To be honest, I don't even know if this is a submarine tender. Um... No, sugar, 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 sugar. Let's go back to the... So I know that Dawn is a submarine tender. I don't know what an AOR is. Mmm, crap, the Krivax in front of the Dubna. Ah, buggers. Right, okay, let's find out for sure. There's only one way to do it. So if I put up the ESN mast... We're not within direct detection range. Right Perfect. Why? Why not? That's kind of weird. Okay. So all Gun, we've got is the Dubna and four, the Krivak. Five, eight, die, and the Dubna is coming hardest 
starboard decree. Yeah, okay, so they know we're here. Perfect. Let's go. Right, narrow focus. Flood tube three, tube four. F oh shit. That's torpedo. Yeet. Shoot two. Fire three. Aye, sir. Fire four. Emergency deep. That's not emergency deep. This is emergency deep. Okay, how deep can we go here? We are cavitating. Perfect. Oh yes. Look at the Krivag go. Okay, so they know they roughly know our direction, so actually. Let's go ahead Come and left two. Zero, zero, seven, helm I. So let's passing three hundred feet con sonar. Okay. No longer cavitating. Let's get ourselves to one thousand con sonar lost contact. Passing five hundred feet. Make depth one eight. Zero, zero feet, so we're gonna go ahead north, con and this is our missiles. On. Master, one, con, I don't give a shit about the trawler. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so this is the Krivak here. Its point defense could help try and shoot down this missile, which is why I fired two. They are very close, obviously, they're in formation, but the Krivak can't do shit about this. And like I said, I'm not sure if this ship has point defense. I'm really not. What's going on with it? Oh, it's facing the opposite. Oh. Sonar lost contact. Yeet. Master two. Last bearing one zero six. Contact. Okay, so it Nine, just got three, a double four, three, zero, a double missile strike, and it's going to the bottom of the water. Uh, I could fire a torpedo, but actually, I want to get the hell out of dodge because um, this there's a lot of angry things coming our way. So I can just see the smoke on the horizon of the the um, Dubna on fire. Con sonar, torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water. Bearing yeah, boy. One, six, zero. Okay, we're deep enough that we've got, we've got we've got time here. So back helm back emergency. Let's flood tube five. Con sonar. Actually, con no 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 no. Cancel that. Disregard that order. Green, Ahead flank. Zero, not maneuvering eye. Ahead flank. Con, torpedo room, two, uh, three, no, it's got us, it's got us. Yeah, it's got us. Back emergency. Make turns four, five, Flood tube five. Nine, maneuvering eye. Shoot tube five. Make turns four, three, zero, knots. Maneuvering eye. Con, fire control, we've lost the wire. Perfect. Con, sonar, lost contact. Uh, Master, one. Why are you coming bearing, this way? Two, one, four, contact faded. Oh, this torpedo's very ambitious. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's coming straight for the fucking decoy. Right, reload a moss. Maneuvering, making turns for three, zero. Nine. It picked up the moss and then picked up the decoy. Shit. Bad touch. Okay, and I can't hang around here. Uh, okay. Okay, I want to fool it, so let's just go... Let's not use the planes, actually. Let's just use the ballast. I don't know if I can see this torpedo. I want to get as deep as I can. Okay. Con, torpedo room, tube 5 ready. I have to time this just right, otherwise it's not going to work. I think this is possibly going to be close enough. So, let's do it. Decoy away, full rise in the planes. Full ballast up. Hard to port. Passing 1800 feet. So it can't see us for the decoy. Passing 1700 feet. Yeah, it can see us. Perfect. Passing Not perfect, that's feet. sarcastic. This is problem. Okay, so now we need to do a different kind of torpedo evasion. So we're turning into Passing and we're gonna level us. Feet. No, it's, it's too deep, it's gonna miss us. Okay. Perfect. Passing thirteen hundred feet. Okay. Passing twelve hundred feet. Okay. Passing eleven hundred feet. So I wanna keep inside its turning. Passing one thousand feet. So what I nine hundred feet. 
what I want to do here. Passing 800 feet. I would just want to keep circling Passing nice and tight. Feet. Passing 600 feet. And I want to Passing get outside of its feet. secret cone because it's now right at the bottom of the sea, Passing not quite feet. right at the bottom of the sea. Make turns for five knots, maneuvering eye. Okay, let's bring us down to two knots. Passing 200 feet. I think we're Make outside its secret four, cone. Two knots, maneuvering eye. I think. So we're going to bring us to four, five, eight, die, bye. 100 feet. We're still doing 14 knots. We've given the helm orders ahead slow. And if the torpedo doesn't acquire us now, it's not going to acquire Nine, us. Dive at one, zero, zero, eight, die, bye. Perfect. Okay. Right. Con sonar regained contact on master three bearing one, two, two. Delightful. Okay. Uh, okay, cool, right. Flood tube one, I'm just gonna ping this there. So we know we know from radar where the Dubna was sunk. And the Krivak's gonna be on the way there. So we're gonna keep it level with us and we're going to fire our torpedo it was slightly to the south of the Dubna, so we're gonna fire tube one. And we're gonna try I I need to try and get out of the way of this torpedo that's incoming. So what I need to do is I need I'm gonna need to fire another moss, or do I need to fire another moss actually? Let's let's try and time this. So Gun maneuvering, making turn making yeah. turns for one zero knots, maneuvering eye. <laughs> These airdropped torpedoes Gun are not the best. Turns for one, zero, not. So there's a chance I might be able to get out of its seeker cone before, uh, in terms of distance, before I get into its seeker cone in terms of height. It is just a chance. Oh, it just detonated. Perfect! Even better! Helm come to course zero 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 uh, a head flank. Make turns for con sonar. We are cavitating. I'm aware of that. That's no concern of us. Emergency deep. Let's go one thousand eight hundred feet. Let's get us as low to the ground as possible. And I want to get the hell out of dodge of this torpedo. I could. Yeah. I was always going to lose the wire. Con helm. I would. I could take it slowly, and because the torpedo hadn't been activated yet, so like, there's a chance it might go past us. Go away. No longer cavitating. Okay, so so what's happened there is he's heard us cavitating, so he's now got a really good idea of where we are. Con sonar lost contact. So Master let's one, let's come bearing, perpendicular right to two, him now. Zero, four, one, helm, I. So this is this is a tad risky. But we're gonna do it. So there's one of two things happened here. Actually, just thinking about Con, it. Con helm, steady course. He's either fired at our decoy, or he's heard our cavitation. And he's firing at us. Either way, we have to get the hell out of dodge, which is what we're doing. So this Con, is our astute road, class submarine. Ready. We're going right down to the bottom. Con maneuvering. Sea floor is still four, at three, nineteen thousand nine. feet, so we're kind of. I don't know if it's act I don't know if the Norwegian Sea is actually an abyssal plane, but like there are regions of the sea that are just like stupendously flat, um, and they will not deviate from like nineteen thousand feet. Um, have a look at this. Yeah. So as we get closer to here, it kind of comes up, and then you get into the fjords and all that noise. Oh, is that a Russian port? Yikes! They shouldn't. They shouldn't be there. I'm in Norway, not Russia. Mm, it's okay. Yikes. Okay, so you can see our shadow on the floor. Where I'm using a Fog of War mod, so I can't see the stuff that's happening around me. It stops me because I can um, see anything that I have a um, contact on, which is good for YouTube for watching stuff sinking and all that noise. It means you can cheat a bit. So in previous videos, hell, even in the series... I've talked about the differences between what... I know, and what the captain knows. Um, so this fog of war helps with that. So like, if there's a submarine somewhere, uh, you can just look and see them. I've done that in videos before, but I can't now. 
I mean, I, I can't see jack shit unless I'm I'm close to it. So anything under um, one kilometer, I really can't see. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. Where is my submarine? Oh, sugar. Hmm, that might actually catch us. Con sonar, torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water, bearing two, seven, four. Okay, hard to starboard. Come right to zero, eight. Eight. Helm, I. It got us, but then it didn't, so I want to get as much distance away from that as possible. And this is the danger of rocket launch torpedoes, is they can just come down onto your head and I'll fuck Con you and your Helm. torpedo launch and self. Yeah, absolute nugget. Okay, is it going to get us? It's one point, so we're still within the seeker. Yeah, yeah, that's got us. Oh shit. Okay, don't particularly want to fire a decoy at it. I wonder how this torpedo's doing. Yeah, it's doing good. Cool. Happy days. Right, fine. Anyway, let's come back to this current situation. I think we're probably going to do the same as before. So he's probably heard the pinging of the torpedo. You'll be able to track it a bit easier than you'll be able to track me. And he's probably heard that it's now on a straight core. So he knows that this torpedo's found me. Which is terrific. So I want it to burn as much fuel as it can. And what I'm doing at the minute is I know I, I know because of the event camera, which again I don't like. I should probably turn that off actually. I don't I don't I don't I can't oh, can I do options? Uh, event camera yeah, okay, we'll turn that off. Um except. Yeah, um so like for firing rockets and things, yeah, yeah, it's it's yeah, it's 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 more realistic this way. Um, but as it so happens, I now know that he's fired a second one. So I don't want to fire a torpedo. I don't want to fire a decoy at the minute. Um, because I know that there... Oh shit, this torpedo's active. Yikers. I really don't... Oh no. What's this torpedo doing? What's this torpedo doing? What's he fired at? Has he fired at my torpedo? I think he has. I think he's fired at my incoming torpedo. Yikes. Okay, how are we doing? I still can't see the torpedo. But it's almost within one kill yard. So I just want it to burn as much fuel as possible. And we're going to do the exact same thing as we did before. Yeah, he's he did he, he did try and fire at my torpedo. Nice, awesome. Okay, we still can't see it. This is the joys of this fog of war mod. I quite like it. It adds a lot of tension to the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's our torpedo doing? That's not ours. That's not ours. This is ours. Okay, so it's over there. It actually might not hit. Anyway, uh, I've got more pressing things to worry about. So I'm not detecting this torpedo yet, but I know it's close. Okay, I can, I can now start to see the bubble trail, so it's starting to get nice and close to us. And the reason that you want it close is because if you do it too far away, um, the torpedo will be able to just keep you in its sights and you know, you know, your evasion means nothing. Um, whereas if you do it nice and close, because we've got the benefit of the ballast tanks as well as the dive planes, we can climb faster than the torpedo can. So we can get out of the seeker head quite quickly. And getting out of the seeker head is exactly what we're going to do. So full on the ballast, decoy away, full on the plane, hard a port. Con sonar, noise maker, bearing, one, four, five. He's got a noisemaker, so the torpedo has possibly seen him. So let's see. So the torpedo's probably going to see us. Passing 1,600 feet. Oh, it's not. Ooh. Passing 1,500 nice. feet. Oh, and it's gone right Passing underneath 1400 us. Feet. That's an added bonus. Passing 1,300 feet. Okay. Passing. Head slow. Make turns for five knots. 
maneuvering eye. Actually, that's risky. Uh, I had one half. One zero knots, maneuvering eye. This is risky, so it's gone. A, it's gone a wrong way from what we want. Passing eight hundred feet. It's found a decoy. So I'm cool Passing with that. Seven hundred feet. Make turns okay. four, five, eight. Make turns four, five knots, maneuvering up. <sighs> okay, fine. Same again. Con sonar regained contact on master one bearing two. Three, so how's our shit six. doing? Con sonar regained contact on. Con maneuvering. Oh yes. So this is the best possible situation here. So we have evaded that Come airdrop to torpedo. Zero, these three, these torpedoes, seven, you can no tell by its small size, uh, that they do not have a lot of fuel in them at all. Um, so they can only last a very short time before they um, run out of fuel. And in the game, they explode. Apparently in real life, they don't. Um, so I think I think this Krivak can now kiss goodbye to itself. They should probably be hard a man in them lifeboats. Boop. Con sonar lost contact. Master three. Last bearing one, four, five. Contact breaking up. Okay. Let's Maybe kill our engines here. Zero not. Oh shit. <laughs> shit. That torpedo is coming right towards us. And this torpedo's gone. It used all its fuel, so that's absolutely perfect timing. So once again, we're going to go emergency deep. And we've done this exercise quite a lot. So the reason that we're doing this is that this, this torpedo is coming straight for where we are. So basically what's happened is he's known exactly where we are and what direction that we're going. He's been tracking us on the map, but he hasn't been able to tell how far we are away. That's why he's fired three aerial dropped torpedoes. No longer cavitating. He's been firing at what... He's been firing at our torpedo, which he's mistaken. He's obviously heard it at one point, and the minute he's heard it, he's assumed it to be a launch transient. So he's fired at that, thinking that's where we are, when of course, we're much further out than that. How's the sea condition? The sea conditions are relatively quiet for this game, so that's not too bad. So anyway, now that the airdrop torpedo is gone um, we are going to continue at full speed perpendicular to this torpedo here. So I want to try and clear its seeker head. So I want to ideally be at the top of the map by the time the torpedo gets to here. Con maneuvering, making turns Basically. Four, three, zero knots. So what we have in our favor is that uh, the torpedo is snaking, so it's not going to be going as fast as if it was going in a straight line. Uh, the torpedo is shallow, um, and there's a mod, there's a layer. It is, it is a very weak layer, I suppose, but it is a layer nonetheless, which means um, when it fires out its sonar, um, it's going to bounce off the top of this layer and then bounce up. Some of it will permeate underneath, but not the entire amount of it, which means there's a chance. There, it, it means we have to be a lot closer to be detected. Um, so. Can see now. So I don't know what kind of torpedo this fires. Let's let's find out actually. Let's find out. So if we look at Con, the dive at one, eight, zero, zero, eight, dive I. It was a Krivak, and it's got test seventy one torpedoes, which I know absolutely nothing about. So I know I know as a good point of reference, um the UGST has a seeker head of three to four kilo yards. The units used in this game. So if if you accept that as a maximum, then we've got one kilo yard to get out of dodge. So basically, we have to try and get quite far away, and I don't think we're going to do it. I don't particularly think we are. Okay. So there's nothing else there's nothing else I can do now other than wait. So let's just time skip. It's getting closer. Getting closer. I 
I think we're now constant bearing with it. And now it's getting further away. It's now in our baffles, so we can't hear it except for the pings. So I'm just trying to track it based on this. And we're in the clear. We're absolutely in the clear. So let's come hard to starboard. Two, one, three, three. Helm, I. And engines ahead slow. Make turns for five. Rigs are silent. Ship for ultra quiet. So what I'm now trying to do is I'm trying to get a bearing on all of the weapons that are in the water. So I'm going to go as quietly as possible and I want my passive array and my toad array to hear every weapon that I can that's near me. So I can still hear my decoy. That's good. Um, and I don't really hear any other weapons. So this is the submarine tender which took two missiles to the trumpet. Uh, and sank, and then the Krivak is over here with one torpedo hole to the side. Look at the mess it made to the superstructure. There's no, as you can see here, neither ship was capable of um, flying helicopters, so we don't have to God, worry about aerial contact. Four, five knots. So Helm's reporting that we're now at five knots, so we can now hear a second torpedo, which is currently doing circles. Yeah, so the, the, he tried, he fired this over towards our decoy. So our decoy did a good job of, of, of doing him a real spook. So that's good. Okay. Perfect. So all we have to do now. I'm going to come back above the layer just so I can get a good chance of hearing anything. So by being deep, I'll hear anything that's underneath the layer, but I won't hear much of anything that's up on the surface. So we're actually just going to come straight up to periscope, per per periscope depth. Um, we're clear of all weapons that are coming in towards us, but we're not clear of the weapons themselves, so we can leave the area. We may as well just uh, uh, make sure that there's no other contacts in the area. Okay, so we're going to come up to Periscope Deep. And so the, the cool thing about this is when you when you leave it to the helm to change depth, the reason that it flattens you out and then you come up the last way on ballast is to try and stop you from broaching. It doesn't always work, but, you know. So we'll put the ESM mast. Hmm. Okay, we don't have zero contact. That's interesting. So let's put up the radar mast. Raise the radar mast. So whatever's out there making ESM signals is at least not detecting us. Uh, but there's nothing on radar. So I'm happy with that. Uh, let's do a baffle clear real quick. Hard to start, right 90 two, degrees. Two, three, six. Helm, I. Release the ship from quiet. Con, helm, steady okay. course. Torpedoes have gone, no other contacts, oh, I'm happy with that. So, let's secure from action stations and leave the area. Did we do it? Good to hear you, interrupt and disorder, yeah, cool, 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 happy days. Perfect, right. So we actually succeeded after like an hour's episode of us just not succeeding in our objective. Our HMS Ambush Submarine um, has successfully completed its orders. So we'll see what command has for us in the next episode. But for just now, I'll say thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.